Paul Siebert is a native Nebraskan, having grown up on a farm just north of Sutton. As a music man, Paul has spent this entire year celebrating the sesquicentennial through song. Our Lance Schwartz joins us now with a melodic edition of Lance's Journal. Oh, don't you love those melodic <laughs> editions, Bill? I've met a lot of musicians, but man, this guy, he's a rare breed indeed. Paul Siebert uh, grew up listening to his dad strum a Gibson guitar, and Paul was only five years old when he taught himself to play that guitar while his dad was at work. Today, Paul's passion for making music energizes him to perform up to 400 one-man shows per year. Paul Siebert does it all. I play so many different styles, it's really hard to put a favor down. I said, hey, sweet baby, now don't you think maybe we could find us brand this 1980 Henderson High School graduate was first dedicated to his family's manufacturing business. But music has always been at my heart, and so during that period of time, I developed my music business up to where I was making better money than my job. Paul started touring full time in 2004. Oh, the hinges are a weather and the windows have no glass. This music man performs at least 30 programs a month, and they range anywhere from 20 minutes to three hours in length. On my little old son shanty on my claim. One of the gifts that I have as a, as a human being, as a person, uh, is, is music, and it's amazing to see people's reactions, uh, and especially children. And Paul also plays at senior homes across a five-state area. I've lost count, probably over 300 facilities. It seems as though Paul is creating music whenever he's awake. I play the hinges in our house, and I got drumsticks, I play the light fixtures. I mean, everything makes music to me. Paul travels from Denver to Des Moines, and he plays nine different instruments throughout ten different programs. The ocean. Paul's Nebraska Sesquicentennial program focuses on people immigrating to Nebraska in the 1860s. It uh, started revolving around our Nebraska state flag, um, I grew up as a blacksmith, and if you've ever noticed, right in the center of our Nebraska state flag, there's a blacksmith, not a football player. Well, Grandpa, can you tell me about the echoes of an arrow? Of hope that's brought you here from far across the sea. This Nebraska program includes Paul playing the hammered dulcimer, the banjo, of all the mighty nations in the East or in the West, the jaw harp, and the button accordion. You know, I love my job. I, you know, I, I don't plan on ever using the word retirement. Now this land was made for you and me. If you'd like to book Paul for a special event in the near future, he is registered with the Nebraska Arts Council and the Nebraska Humanities. And he has a great website called Paul Siebert Live. He's got his contact info there and a whole lot of ear candy there for you to listen to. And Bill, Paul has hundreds and hundreds of songs, as you can imagine, in his repertoire. So many, in fact, that at three minutes apiece, he thinks he can play about 30 hours if wow. he played them back to back to back. And uh, he would never get bored playing the same instrument because he can play so many of them. He says <laughs> if it has strings, he can play it. An amazing musician. A neat guy. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lance. Taking a live look outside right now. More precipitation, at least the chance of it.